This video is definitely going to be on par with pretty much the same theme as... I think it may have been yesterday's video, actually, or maybe the day before's video. And it has to do with... I mean, it's not entirely about persevering through dark times, right? If you go through loss, if you're going through something that's really tragic and it's just hard to cope, it's really challenging to focus on anything, right? That's not really what this is about, though. What this video is about is how different things in life can actually take a person's open focus, right? Like, think about, like, open focus, right? And bring it down to something very narrowed. When you don't believe that you can do better for yourself, maybe it's because you can't see better, right? It's a lot harder to see more when you see so little, right? And it's fascinating because throughout my entire life, my focus has been so narrowed for so many reasons that actually don't have to do with like tragic loss. Like when I look back on my life, I'm not here to invalidate myself or anything or invalidate anybody else that goes through this. But it's just so fascinating that when I look back on my life, I see that I've taken things more seriously than they actually were. Here's a fascinating thing. When I learned that a majority of the pain or all of the pain that I had felt in relationships actually had to do with enmeshment and not love, shit, that is exactly what I'm talking about bringing an open focus to a very narrow view, right? When you don't believe that you can do better for yourself, and it doesn't matter in what case, maybe it's because your focus went from totally open to totally fucking pinhole nothing, right? And this is now something that I'm looking at for myself because... <sighs> Throughout my entire life, I've been very distracted by things that I didn't need to be distracted by, right? And I missed out on a better quality of life because of that distraction, right? And that distraction is the open focus to a very narrow focus, right? You're going to have your focus go from something that could see multiple opportunities and a bigger picture that would actually be more, more beneficial to something of a much lesser, you know, a, a much smaller focus where you don't see as many opportunities and potentials and all that stuff. And, you know, you're kind of led down a path of fear and lack. Lack, in my honest opinion, is a fucking illusion because it's not real in this universe that is fucking abundant. In this world that is abundant. There's plenty. There's enough. Anything or anybody that gets you to believe that there's not more out there, that there's not more for you, that there's not more opportunities, that there's not more potential, fucking bullshit. It really is. It's 100% bullshit. And these are the types of things that can lead a person to believe that they cannot do better for themselves. Truly, these are the types of things that can lead a person to have that focus that's very closed off from everywhere else, right? Imagine there's an entire, an entire mural in front of you, right? But you're only allowed to see a very small part of it, right? Different things that happen in life and different people that you come across in life can actually guide you towards that pinhole of a perception, right? If you believe that you cannot do better for yourself, you're going to not do better for yourself. I, there were times in my life that I believed that I couldn't do better for myself and I didn't do better for myself because what you believe manifests as your perception of life, which then 
obviously because you believe that you can't do better for yourself you don't do better for yourself so who the fuck's going to do better for themselves when they don't believe that they can do better for themselves even though this fucking incredibly beautiful mural full of just so many different options and potentials and detail you know you just have this tiny part of it to look at right so if you can't see the bigger picture you're not going to choose more options, more potentials from the bigger picture, and therefore you're actually not going to do better for yourself. So yeah, people that believe that they can't do better for themselves, I would argue maybe it's because you have this very narrow view of everything, right? And I'm getting real energized about this because throughout my entire life, my entire life was fucking that, literally. I was surrounded by people, not naming any names, but people that reinforced this belief in me that Chris could not do better for them for, for himself, right? And at this point now, I'm not pointing the finger at anybody, actually, <laughs> except myself, right? Because I am responsible for my own perception, right? I am also responsible for whatever noise is going into my airwaves, right? I'm responsible for who I let in. I'm also responsible for, you know, just my relationships, everything, you know? And that's one of the most powerful experiences of this journey of healing is just taking responsibility. You know, you're, you're not responsible for what fucked you up, but you are responsible for doing something about it. And if you've ever felt at any point in your life that you just couldn't do better for yourself, just understanding why it was that way. A single individual can always do better for themselves, you know, like, it's just really important to understand, like, are you seeing the bigger picture? You're likely not. If you really do, at the core of your fucking being and heart and soul, believe that you cannot do better for yourself, it's likely because you are not, for some reason, seeing the bigger picture. Maybe somebody held this tiny thing in front of your eyes that you can see through and that's it. And that's all you can see. So it's like, you know, instead of seeing all of this wonderful, healthy food in front of you, all you see is the fucking garbage. All you see is the dumpster and you're picking through scraps, right? And every time you go over, maybe you have somebody in your life who's highly fucking manipulative and wants to take advantage of you. That shit, suck. that, that shit sucks like crazy, but, you know, they're actually controlling where you look, right? If you believe that you cannot do better for yourself, <laughs> uh, zoom the fuck out. Because maybe you're just not seeing the bigger picture. And if you're not seeing the bigger picture with all of its glory and all of its beauty and all of its fine fucking detail because it's right in front of your fucking face, it always has been. It's just that different things and people in your life kind of have a tendency to like cut you off from being able to see the bigger picture, right? I've had that happening before. Um, I've literally had people, at least one person in my life, tell me that... You know, I'm, I'm nothing without them. Yeah, no, no. You know, it's not, it's not okay, right? And then with that, right, that's, that's another example of somebody cutting you off from being able to see the bigger picture, right? Because then they take your open focus and then they narrow it down to them, right? Bigger picture gone, right? It's challenging. You're worthy. You're allowed to see the bigger picture. If you feel like you're not, open your eyes. Maybe take the headset off. You know? It's all a fucking belief. We're all the same. We're all equal. You know? Like, shit, you can... You can see so much more. There's so much more out there. Always.